guys, my name is Helene Foy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about anti-heroes, sympathetic villains, and antagonists. Specifically, what are they? What differentiates them? And where do the lines blur? Now, this is a subject that I started really thinking about when I was writing my Y fantasy series, The Rashindi Chronicles. Specifically for book one, I played around a lot with morally gray characters, but also with villains who sometimes play the part of the hero and heroes that sometimes play the part of an antagonist. And I found myself wondering exactly what was the difference between these three categories and where did the lines blur? So I did a little bit of research and though the exact definitions are largely disputed, here are some of the things that I found. On the subject of anti-heroes, in the most basic term, an anti-hero is a deeply flawed protagonist or hero of a story. Anti-heroes do not usually display typical heroic qualities, i.e. the golden heart, bravery, always in the face of danger, selfless loyalty, etc. In fact, anti-heroes often display negative or unappealing traits, such as dishonesty, selfishness, greed, or they're immoral in some other way. Anti-heroes will often still be likable so that the audience will root for them, whether this is because of their charisma, epic fighting skills, awe-inspiring brutality, or the simple impossibility of the situation they find themselves thrown into. Some examples of anti-heroes from film and literature include Cusco, from The Emperor's New Groove, Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby, and Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, another type of anti-hero is when we follow the villain as the protagonist. Think the Joker and Harley Quinn or Maleficent in the newer movies that have come out about them. These would still be considered anti-heroes because they are characters with debatably scrupulous morals who have been put into the role of protagonist or hero of that particular narrative. Now, onto sympathetic villains. A sympathetic villain is just that, a villain the audience can sympathize with. Sympathetic villains still exhibit the same traits as a villain. However, either we as the audience can understand their reasoning for doing the things they do, or they have some sort of redeeming quality that allows us to still understand and sympathize with them despite our best efforts. A classic example of a sympathetic villain is Darth Vader from the Star Wars saga. Sweeney Todd is also an example of a sympathetic villain. However, this is where the lines begin to blur. Sweeney Todd and even Snape from the Harry Potter series can be classified as sympathetic villains. However, they could also be classified as anti-heroes, depending on which facet of their personality and character arc you're looking at, as well as what point in the story you're looking at. I could go into a whole lot more detail about the blurry lines between all of this, but that would take hours, so I'm gonna leave it there for now. Antagonists. An antagonist directly opposes the protagonist of a story. An antagonist does not necessarily have to be a villain. For example, in my series, The Rashindi Chronicles, in book one specifically, the antagonist of the story in any other story would honestly probably be considered the mentor character if we're just going off his personality and motivations. However, because he directly opposes the protagonist and the mentor character in my story, he is therefore considered the antagonist. An antagonist can also be a sympathetic villain. Take Loki from the Marvel Avengers movies. His motivations directly oppose the Avengers in the movie, The Avengers, yet his charisma, cleverness, and proactivity make us sympathize with his character. On some rare occasions, a character can progress from an antagonist to a sympathetic villain to an anti-hero. If Loki ever gets his TV series, he will be considered an anti-hero in those episodes. In that instance, he will have evolved from an antagonist to a sympathetic villain to an anti-hero. Some other classic examples of an antagonist include Voldemort from the Harry Potter series, the Emperor from the Star Wars saga, and Sauron from the Lord of the Rings. Now, this is just scratching the surface. 
of the explanations and descriptions of these three categories. Again, there are so many differing opinions about what exactly makes an anti-hero, a sympathetic villain, and an antagonist. I would love to hear your opinion, so make sure you comment down below. Let me know if there are any characters you can think of that walk the line between the three. Let me know what your favorite anti-hero is. Let me know what your favorite sympathetic villain is. And let me know what your favorite antagonist is. I would love to hear from you guys. Anyway, that is going to be all from me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time I post a new video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.